So as a lot of you know, we just got the official announcement of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now on top of the announcement that we just got, we also got to see a little bit of alpha footage of the game. And within this footage, we got a lot of confirmations on some really cool features that we've been requesting since Wildlands first released. So in today's video, we'll be going over some of those confirmed features. Maybe you guys missed some of them during the actual live stream. And of course, if I do miss any within this list, you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comments so that, that way everybody else is aware of them. So of course, like always, let's waste no more time and let's get right into the video. So as you guys are watching in the background right now, one of the very first things that is confirmed at the very start of the actual walkthrough itself is the brand new injured system. So if you notice at the very end, right where it cuts off from the cinematic to the gameplay, it shows that Nomad gets shot and he starts to kind of limp around basically struggling to walk now one of the beautiful things about this is that you will still have the chance to turn around and shoot your weapon and it also seems that if you continue moving along with the actual wounds that you have and you don't heal yourself and you run out of stamina it seems like you could very well pass out along with that if you also notice right before he actually starts tumbling down the hill he stops for a brief moment and kind of puts his hand on his forehead it kind of seems like you may also die from blood loss so i'm not gonna lie it's really cool that they added this sort of survival aspect with the new injured system so moving on to the next thing it's actually right connected with what i was just talking about right now if you notice when he's going down hills he actually actually tumbles and rolls on the way down now I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the reason why he tumbled and rolled in this case is because he was injured because throughout the walkthrough you will notice that there's moments where he doesn't actually tumble and roll when he's going down hills he kind of just like slides his way down so that is one of the new features that has been added I know that in Wildlands one of the weird things that kind of broke the immersion was the fact that you were kind of able to walk up any mountain whatsoever moving on to the next part of the walkthrough here this is actually connected to the injure system right here you'll take a look at one of the new features which is that you're actually able to heal yourself i thought this was extremely cool as some of you that have actually played wildlands you guys will know that if you're playing in situations where you don't have your ai teammates you can actually go down and instantly die so i think that this feature right here is going to be really cool for those players that like to play lone wolf and they don't want to have to depend on the ai players but anyways moving on to the next feature this one was actually one that i didn't notice until this very point of the trailer but of course there is now a cover feature if you guys notice throughout the entire gameplay whenever they lean up against anything it instantly snaps into the wall I know that this is one of those things that was actually asked a lot when Wildlands was first released on why exactly there was no cover system. But one thing is for sure, I am very, very glad that the cover system has returned back to Ghost Recon with Breakpoint. But anyways, moving on to the next thing now, at one point through the actual walkthrough, you guys will notice that he is crawling through a mud patch. And they did take this moment to introduce the brand new prone camo system. So basically, if enemies are around you, you are now able to grab the mud and put it on your body, wait till the enemies pass by you, and then take your stealth approach. Now, I'm not going to lie to a lot of you, it's probably going to seem like such a ridiculous and simple system. But as someone who's been playing Ghost Recon Wildlands for such a long time, the amount of times that this could have saved me in Wildlands is just absolutely insane. So personally, to me, and I'm sure to a lot of people that are watching this video, this is actually a very big feature. Moving on to the next thing, one of the very highly requested items that we've been asking for in Wildlands for years has to be, of course, the wire cutters because it's just absolutely a nightmare getting into some of these Unidad bases. And it turns out that in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we'll be getting some type of wire cutter or plasma cutter. This feature right here is kind of similar to the mud feature. It just doesn't seem like it's something really crazy. But to the actual hardcore community of Wildlands, you guys all know how much we've been asking for this. And this is just an absolute game changer for us. Now for the next thing on the list, it is the melee takedowns. So throughout the entire walkthrough, you're going to see a bunch of different animations for the melee takedowns, which it was really interesting and really cool to see quite a variety of different takedowns. But the one that really stood out the most to me that I really wanted to show to you guys, because it is sort of a new system to us, that is the prone takedown. So from this snippet right here that I'm showing you guys in the background, it seems like we're going to now be able to neutralize enemies while we are in the prone position. Now, of course, in Wildlands, we were already able to do that, but the animation would kind of break and your character would just instantly stand up and do the regular old takedown animation. But now it seems like the prone position has its own animation and I have to say it looks absolutely badass. And of course, instantly right after that, we get a look at the brand new ATF that is going to be in the game. That is right. We got rocket launchers in Ghost Recon now. But anyways, after that, we start to get a closer look at some of the AI robots that are going to be the enemies within the game now. 
as well as some of the combat but in the mix of all of this at one moment throughout the walkthrough you'll notice that they throw a grenade and one of the ai characters goes ahead and dolphin dives this is a completely new feature and honestly it's going to be an absolute game changer as well as with another feature that was added that you will see it a little bit later through the walkthrough but it is actually sliding you'll be able to now slide into cover this is just another one of those things that it doesn't really seem like we should be getting excited for but those of us that played wildlands we know how much of a big feature this is now moving a little ahead here in the walkthrough you guys will know that one of the biggest issues in wildlands whenever you killed enemies was the fact that most of the bodies would end up getting spotted because we weren't actually able to pick up the bodies and move them around well, it turns out that not only will we be able to pick up bodies and move them around, but we'll also now be able to pick up our downed allies. You'll be able to grab them, throw them over your shoulder, and take them to wherever kind of cover that you can, where you can then go ahead and proceed to revive them. Features like this are going to make for some awesome gameplay when it comes to both PvP and PvE. It's just going to add a lot of intensity, and I'm honestly just really, really excited to get my hands on this game at this point. But anyways, moving on to the next thing, and that is, of course, the highly requested smoke are finally in the game in wildlands we were finally given smokes after a long period of time but unfortunately we weren't actually able to use them on our character the only way we were actually able to use them was if we used them with the drone so of course the moment that we saw the ai player slide in and put down that smoke that was a very big moment but yeah aside from that that pretty much does it for every single one of the new features as far as that i was able to see through the walkthrough of course, if you guys did spot any other ones, make sure to let me know in the comments so that, that way everybody else is aware of them. Uh, in all honesty, I'm extremely excited for Breakpoint, uh, setting everything aside. Say what you want about Ubisoft, but honestly, one of the things that I was repeating in my head while I was watching this the entire time was that the community really was heard. Oh, and actually, before I forget, one other feature is coming that was asked a lot throughout the entire lifespan of Wildlands, and that is Bloused Boots. Bloused Boots will most definitely be a thing, so definitely get excited for that. But like I said, man, one of the things that I could say about this is that the community definitely was heard. Just about every single feature that I heard requested throughout the entire lifespan of Wildlands, I've heard covered through just this walkthrough. So I really do hope that you guys are just as excited about Ghost Recon Breakpoint as I am. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of different content. Of course, the moment that I get any type of information on Breakpoint, I will be bringing it to you guys on the channel as quick as possible. So make sure that you guys turn on notifications for that. Today was honestly an absolutely incredible day and I am so excited for E3. I currently just have fingers crossed that I can get some gameplay and bring it to you guys on the channel once I get back from E3. But anyways, that's pretty much going to do it for the video today. So like always, I will see you guys in the next video.